hey what's good guys welcome back to the channel and what we're going to be doing now is testing out geforce versus a gtx graphics card which can you game which is better should you upgrade to a graphics card maybe not so i'm going to be testing two two separate computers and uh, we're going to see how fortnite runs without a gpu and with a gpu all right, I'm going to be testing it on an i5 6500, 28 gigs of RAM, a DDR4, running at 28 hertz to 3000. To 3, uh, we will do all benchmarks at high, high settings, 1080p. So let's just jump right into the video. As you see, I just put everything on high settings, both sides. Left side is GeForce, right side will be GTX 1070. Graphics card versus no graphics card. If you notice, if you look hard enough, you can see the color, you can see the color grade inside of the GPU versus the one that's don't have a GPU. You see it's more dolly-ish, I want to say, on the G4 side. But if you look on the GTX side, it's more index and in color, if, if you know what I mean. Like you see, you see the difference? And uh, I can't I can't lie, guys. Um, they're both doing amazing work. GeForce alone without a graphics card is keeping up with the GTX. But I do notice you get a little more stutters in a GTX. That could be the the internet, because what what because what you doing on GeForce, you running through internet, right? All right. So GTX, you just running your normal game. So. You have your full equality and potential when you play a full game with the GTX than if you was playing a game from uh, GeForce Experience. If you if you get if you get what I'm saying there, I am averaging about 110 on both sides. They both averaging over 100, but I'm gonna have the uh, the test benches inside the video as well. And you can just look at every little delay, every little sequence that I'm doing. Just, just watch how fast each gameplay moves from one, one from another, if you see what I'm saying. And um, yeah, they're definitely pulling up the same frame rate. So pretty interesting to see a, something without a graphics card versus something with a graphics card. It's pretty amazing to see that. GeForce, GeForce don't need, GeForce, GeForce Now, I should say, GeForce Now in games or whatever, don't need a graphics card to be compatible. I actually was running my i5 and in nvidia no graphics card getting over 120 frames per second guys so it's up to you if you guys want to invest in a graphics card go for it i'm all i'm all good for it. if you want to get the gtx 1070 go for it because um it's not the best compared to like a 1066 or uh 1080 ti or something but it it'll it get the job done and the frames are just about as close enough so to save a little dollars i even prefer i want to do a video the 1050 ti versus geforce now because i think i actually guys i think the 1070 has geforce beat i'm sorry just by a couple frames and less stutters because the online and stuff. 
so you don't have to double run online from online gameplay then you gotta worry about your own you gotta worry about your online when you in the game and then you gotta worry about online services when you playing the game so it is a lot of internet services going between that part but if you guys got like something like a amd you can still use that and use geforce as well but it won't do you no purpose it won't boost anything it won't boost any of your graphics so I believe GeForce now hit the average around I'm gonna put it on screen make sure you guys see it but yeah guys this is a GTX 1070 versus GeForce now and Fortnite 2019 Fortnite 2 so let's get it